1977, there was a court case involving one of these. Now, 50 years later, that case could have a big impact on what's going on with these. The whole thing involves a legal concept called negligent entrustment. But we'll get back to that. First, here's what happened. Sometime in the 1970s, an 11-year-old boy struck his friend in the eye with a slingshot pellet. The victim, who went blind in one eye, chose to sue the store that sold his friend the slingshot. His lawyer said that since the store marketed and sold slingshots directly to kids, it was liable for the injury. The concept is called negligent entrustment, and it's really important in today's gun debate. It's the idea that if a person hurts someone else with a product, the company selling that product is partly responsible for what happened, but only if the company has reason to believe that the customer might use it in a dangerous way. The idea comes up in other cases too. If someone gives their car keys to another person who is visibly drunk, and that person kills someone on the road, they can be held liable. So how does this relate to what's going on today? Right now in Connecticut, parents of the victims killed at the Sandy Hook school shooting are trying to prove that a gun maker is liable for their children's death. They're saying Remington Outdoor Company marketed AR-15s, the gun used in the shooting, to kids. Kanan is my eight-year-old firstborn son. The shooter, Adam Lanza, was 20. Lawyers for Remington are saying it doesn't make sense to hold the company accountable. The gun maker knew nothing about Lanza. The plaintiffs are expanding a negligent entrustment action in ways that Connecticut courts have never recognized and no court in this country has ever recognized. And besides, they sold the gun to his mother, not him. But the Sandy Hook families don't have much to work with. That's because of a law that passed in 2005 in the wake of the Columbine shooting. Around that time, these types of lawsuits were more common, so the NRA lobbied to pass an act to protect the gun makers. It worked. The PLCAA made gun makers nearly immune to these types of lawsuits. Negligent entrustment is one of the only loopholes. Well, this negligent entrustment loophole has yet to be fully explored and taken advantage of. No court has ruled against a manufacturer who sold a gun that was several transactions removed from the shooter, which was the case with Lanza. But some think that the current gun control movement may sway judges to make an unprecedented decision. I think a breakthrough could come in the Sandy Hook case. 